After their parents pass away, Ruby and her brother move to live with their neighbor but the neighbors had a different plan regarding these children. Hi movie long and short here today I want to explain a film The Glass House so let's see our main character Ruby with her friends today her parents had gone out so she also went to watch a movie with her friends next morning her parents discussed it. Ruby actually came home very late which was wrong one day one. Ruby's parents had a wedding anniversary so taking advantage of the opportunity, Ruby goes to enjoy with her friends when she came back home there was police at home, police tells her, your mother father has had an accident that poor Ruby was broken there, she falls down after getting dizzy after this we are shown directly to the funeral of Ruby's parents, here her neighbors were Mr. and Mrs. Glass he has said very good things for Ruby's parents after the funeral was over. Ruby's maternal uncle came to her but Ruby had never seen him in her entire life. Uncle tells Ruby that if you need anything, I am ready to help you. Ruby tells her where were you from all these years mother and you did not maintain your relationship. Her maternal uncle explains to her sometimes this thing can happen between brother and sister. I always thought that when I get time I will come to all of you. I will spend time with you but never got this before today he has regrets so in future wants to do something for Ruby. Ruby also says yes to this after this her lawyer brought to Ruby's house he used to say that your mother had insurance, father had money so because of this you will not need to do anything in your whole life, till now Ruby is a teenager so she will need parents so according to her parents will, her neighbors are going to take care of her, the neighbors arrive here whose name is Terry and her wife's name is Erin, Terry supports Ruby. Terry felt that it would be great if Ruby starts her life in a new city because of this all of them together shift to Malova, here they had a big house they gave the same room to Ruby and her brother, Ruby does not like this thing but Terry said that it is temporary you will get a separate room, children do not like the food that Terry and his wife eat so they ordered pizza tonight because of this, Ruby could not sleep at night so she went out to swim but she felt that someone was watching her because of this she leaves from there next day she went to her new school, as much freedom as the children used to get in the previous school that much freedom is not available here but still Ruby adjusts when she came home, Erin had brought clothes for her and video games for her brother they were both very happy at night, Ruby was talking to her friend about how bad the school is. Erin listened to this. She gets angry and says if you want to make friends here then you will have to change your attitude. Ruby doesn't like the fact that Erin was listening to her phone call. How could her parents have an accident during the night she dreams about it one night at 3 o'clock she was swimming and Terry comes up to her. He was looking at her and the wrong way he forbade her from swimming at night in this manner from now on. There was a driving class in Ruby's school in which she was being shown a video of how accidents happen. Ruby was disturbed by this when she does not feel like eating food in the night then she got up from there and left. Erin came to her she says do you have any problem? Ruby said that I am feeling a little sick so Erin goes to the bedroom and gives one from many medicines to her Ruby asks what is the use of so many pills tonight Ruby falls asleep again and wakes up in the middle of the night she notices Terry and his wife are fighting. Terry also looks at Ruby downstairs next day Ruby tried to make friends in this new school but none of her friends are being made, tonight Terry comes up to her and says I have a party in Hollywood will you come with me, Ruby tries to dissuade him but Terry refuses when both of them were going there, Terry changed his mind and brings Ruby to a place to have dinner he explained to her that whatever you saw last night. Fights keep going on and husband and wife sometimes living with Aaron can be lonely then on way back home, Terry was driving very fast, Ruby asks him to slow down so he stops the car he had come very close when Ruby gets scared, he changes his mind and only puts on her seat belt upon arriving home, Ruby notices that Aaron was injecting herself with a syringe, Ruby gets all these things very wrong so she comes directly to her city and talks to lawyer. Lawyer thinks that maybe she got some misunderstanding, he tries to convince Ruby that if you cannot live with Terry then you will have to go to different families of the government, which will not be right for you which help Ruby needed is not getting it but still lawyer was about to do something, as soon as Ruby leaves, the lawyer calls Terry and tells everything, Terry and Aaron talk to her when she gets home. Aaron said that I have diabetes yesterday when I was giving injections, I was taking diabetes medicine, Ruby also believes to her, in the next scene, Ruby was taking a driving class at her school it was very hard for her, one day she goes to his office to meet Terry there were some people with Terry who were bullying him they even tried to kill him, 
Ruby got scared seeing him and came downstairs to the workshop. Here she notices that her parents' car was here, in reality it should have been ruined in accident. On the way home, Terry explains to Ruby that this is business as sometimes things like this happen in business, don't be afraid of this. In the night Ruby took out the news of the death of her parents, she comes to know that when they died, they were driving a BMW but her parents did not have a BMW as he called the lawyer and said to get some information about whose car my parents were driving. Tonight Ruby had to complete an essay but she fell asleep just like that. Terry notices this and in the night he wrote down the whole essay thing. When Ruby notices in the morning she feels very happy. In the next scene we see Ruby's social worker had come to meet her at her school. Ruby's lawyer had sent her when the social worker came to know that Ruby and her brother lived in the same room. She felt wrong. Now she was about to come for the inspection when she reached their house for inspection in the evening. Terry had already separated their rooms. Ruby's brother also says very good things about Terry when everyone went out to drop the social worker. Ruby notices in the trash can that the latter was from her college. Terry cancelled Ruby's college and took all her money back. Ruby had also received a letter from her uncle he didn't even show it to Ruby. All these things have found Ruby very suspicious. At night she tries to contact her lawyer by email but Terry had her account closed. Ruby notices that Terry is a bit disturbed and is talking on the phone then she coming down and listening to all his conversations. Terry was telling on the phone that I will return all your money actually I was a business partner of mine and he cheated on me but now I have a lot of money. I'll give you all the money little by little right now I'm sending $30,000. These were the same $30,000 that had come back from Ruby College, that is, all the money is being robbing from her. Next day Ruby got a call from her lawyer at the school he said that the car that your parents were driving was actually Terry's car. Now Ruby's all doubt was on Terry. Ruby essay written by Terry was also copied and written this thing is caught in the school. Terry was behind it too. Now Ruby knew that she was in danger she can't live in this house anymore. Ruby sneaks up in the middle of the night and steals Terry's car she picked up her brother and sat in the car. As he did not know how to drive properly but still got out of there after hearing the sound of the car going down from there. Terry also wakes up and started chasing them. Ruby is stopped by the police at a check post then Terry comes over there and takes them both home. Ruby says to Terry, you killed my parents but Terry Eric says that nothing like this happened it was their anniversary so because of that only I gave them a nice car. Ruby didn't want to be with him she trying hard to get out of here but after coming home. Aaron made her unconscious by injecting a syringe. Next day Terry went to Ruby's bank and tries to extort even more money from there but the bank had already learned that he had already stolen $30,000. They block his account which made him very upset. Aaron did not actually have diabetes she always used to do drugs and she used to steal these drugs from the hospital when the hospital head comes to know about this she is fired. Terry and Aaron got into a fight about this. Aaron says we should not have done anything like this. Here we come to know both of them were behind the accident of Ruby's parents. Aaron feels very guilty about this so because of this she does drugs. Terry has no regrets about this in the slightest he says. I saw the opportunity and I took it. Aaron needed drugs tonight too so Terry left to get the same when she tried to find drugs in the house. She also found them when Aaron and Terry were young they also had a daughter after watching her video. She became emotional and took more drugs and in the same way she died. Ruby notices and she gets very scared. Terry came back home he feels really bad when Ruby was talking to someone on the phone going downstairs. He got angry. Ruby and her brother try to escape but Terry catches them and throws them in the basement they tried to get out of the basement there was a fan from where they could leave. Terry was about to leave the house but he changes his mind and comes home after drinking drinks and goes to sleep. Slowly slowly these two came out of the house they were about to run away with the keys of Terry's car then their lawyer came here. He tells Terry that you have ruined everything the bank has also blocked you. I think there is something wrong going on here while both of them were talking. Gangsters reached there to extort money from Terry actually Ruby had called them and said that Terry is about to run away from here. Get over here quickly they killed Terry but he said that the lawyer is my business partner he stole all the money. Lawyer gets scared of this. He says that I have nothing to do with this and wanted to leave from here but gangster killed him just now they were taking Terry together. Ruby had already removed the brakes of Terry's car his car got out of control and he had an accident on the road. 
Ruby and Terry were on their way out when the police helped them. Later on, officer saw that an accident had happened here when he goes down and looked. Terry was still alive he also killed the police he came upstairs with a police gun and he was about to kill Ruby. Ruby gets scared and hurried to the driving seat she crushed Terry with the car. Now in the last scene of the movie we see that their uncle with Ruby and her brother now he is the one taking care of them. With this the movie ends. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on notification, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thanks for watching.